Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, and prepare to bear witness to the marvellous magnificence which is the latest Virtual Stadium Tours video. Please remember to keep your hands and fingers off of the screen at all times to avoid impairing your viewing pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. And so today we are taking a look around the Saputo Stadium, that's right, it is the home arena of the Montreal Impact of the MLS, the soccer side or football if you're from Europe. And as always for you, the first fact I have for you on this arena, on this stadium, is its overall capacity. And I can tell you now that this stadium currently holds just over 20,000, so around 20,800 people when it is sold out. Uh, but it hasn't always held more than that. When the stadium was originally built and opened in 2008 it was broken ground in 2007 in april and opened in may 2008 but when it was originally opened it was only open with a capacity of just over 13,000. however when montreal impact was granted acceptance into the mls that's the american official uh, professional soccer league in 2012 they adopted this arena as its stadium and in so doing that, they increased its capacity by 7,000 up to 20,000 uh, overall capacity, uh, which is where it sits now. Those renovations costed around 23 million Canadian dollars, uh, which brought the overall cost of the stadium up to around 40 to 47 million Canadian dollars. When it was originally built in 2007, it was at a cost of around 19 million Canadian dollars with seven and a half million of that coming from the Saputo family who are the owners of both the arena of the stadium and the Montreal Impact soccer team um, and the rest came from a bank so it came from financing on a 25 year loan. Next now let's talk about the actual stadium itself so the design of the arena now the stadium itself has been built overlooking the uh, the olympic stadium in montreal because of course montreal did host the olympics in 1976 and so the old olympic stadium was built um has had been built for a while when this stadium was being constructed and this stadium was built overlooking the old summer olympics stadium uh, which is why one of its sides is actually quite a lot lower than the other three sides of the arena, is so that you can get a very nice expansive view of the Olympic Stadium, even when you're inside this arena. And part of that, um, part of to help that vision become a reality, is the fact that uh, only a very small amount of this arena is covered by a roof. Um, only around six and a half thousand of the 20,000 seats are actually covered. So if it rains and you're watching a football or soccer match in this arena, the likelihood is you're going to get wet, unfortunately. OK, let's move on now and talk about the playing surface of this arena. And uh, from its conception, in when, from when it was actually built in 2007 to 2008, this arena has always had a natural grass playing service, surface. And this is what actually caused the Canadian men's national soccer team to play in this arena from 2008 to 2010 because the BMO field which is actually a larger stadium had an had a synthetic grass surface on the top of it and the the actual soccer team themselves disliked playing there they preferred the natural grass and that itself has actually caused the BMO field to have a natural grass uh, sort of inserted into the arena um, with a heated surface so that if it snowed as it often does up in Canada they can still continue playing and the surface they have in the BMO field now is actually incredibly reminiscent of the sort of thing you would find in professional football or soccer leagues across Europe with a sort of mesh of synthetic and natural grass with underheating as well so you can play in pretty much all conditions. So anyway, now let's go on and talk about the ticket prices in this arena. And this will actually be the last fact I have for you today. And if you want to go and see a soccer match in this arena, depending on where you want to sit, the ticket prices can cost you anything from 25 Canadian dollars up to around 85 Canadian dollars, with obviously more expensive tickets for special football matches. So anyway, that's interesting. And that's all I've got time for today. Thank you very much for watching. and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this Virtual Stadium Tours video. 
If you enjoyed it and would like to see every new video this channel uploads as soon as it uploads them to the interwebs, why don't you press the subscribe button down below this video right now. Goodbye.